thumb, 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 thumb. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? I didn't know you guys were here. What's up? This is DTM. Uh, let me make sure that the mic is on. Let me know if you can hear me, Jordan. What's up, Jordan? And Richard in the house already joining us here on. Oh, let me see. Yep, yep, here on Behance. Let me know if you can hear the audio because today I do have my audio levels checked on. And uh, it's a special stream because uh, we are live right now at 6 p.m. on Behance. And uh, any, a lot of places on the internet at the same time. And it's a special stream because it's the 15th of the <laughs> of the month. And that means Sketchable. We are drawing with Sketchable. Look out for the new character, says Richard. What's up? What's up? And uh, Jordan says, hey. And Richard says, pencil thief. That's right. So he is not a thief. He's sharing his pencils. That is DTM sharing his pencils. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and jump in into what we're going to do today. We're going to be live for one hour. So thank you for joining us. And let's go ahead and show our screens. You can see my screen on the bottom right hand corner. And you can see Odari's screen on the top left. What's up, Odari? Hey, what up? Oh, went down what tonight. You, what you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh man, I'm I'm gonna continue what we did on the first because I've been I've been so busy with everything else. I, just to give y'all a sneak peek, what we did last time, I did okay. Jack Jupiter, but now mm -hmm. I gotta do Jack. His name is Jay Jupiter, and I'm I'm doing his crew all around. Him. So I'm gonna work on the uh, Beaver tonight, right next to him, his right hand man. So that's okay. going down. All right. That's cool. And so you uh, so yes, if you have missed the process for that Jace Jupiter, you need to go back into one of the replays of, uh, of last week uh, or two weeks ago when it on the first. And uh, yeah, check that out. And uh, just to give a background, we are drawing in Sketchable. That is the drawing app that we use here for the first and 15th live stream. Today also happens to be Wednesday, so that means that I will be live uh, at 8 p.m. with uh, with my other favorite app, which is Adobe Fresco. So yes. stay tuned for a long evening of live streams. But right now, we're just going to focus on Sketchable and the Surface Pro. I have a Surface Pro. I think we both have Surface Pro 7s. Yes. That's what we got right now. Yes, that's right. That's right. Nice. And so Odari was telling me about some of the changes in his uh, schedule. If you keep up with Odari, check him out, Odari Art. I forgot to add your links to the description of the video, uh, but I will add it in uh, before it's over. Fresco. That's Fresco is at 8 o'clock, so come on through. Right now we are working with Sketchable. So, uh, so Diary, tell us about what's going on with your, with your uh, stream. What time are you going to go live? Have you figured it out? Have you decided what you're going to change your live stream hour to? Yes, I have. Um, my son is in band. And I'm like, cool, he's in band. He's playing an instrument. But I forgot about, well, if you're in band, you have to play in all the games. And I'm like, oh, snap, that's 7 o'clock when I stream on Friday. So now I'm thinking of changing my uh, stream time to midday, maybe like 11 o'clock mm. morning, because I have people on the other side of the world that want to see my streams as well, and that I think that will benefit everyone. I don't know, but we'll see. But I, I have to change the schedule because the kid got a band. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and, so you can either go earlier in the day or go later at night. One of the two. The late at night won't work for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm up at six AM taking him to school. Oh I so see. I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's been working, bro. Your oh my god. Ran out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. All right, all right. So yeah, stay tuned for uh, adjustments and 
Ozari's uh, live stream. He streams on Fridays and uh, Power Hour whenever you get a chance and feel like it. That's the, po yes. the Power Hour and the Freestyle Fridays, right? That's it. I think I think they yeah. had a third one. What was the third one? Uh, that's the ABC. Oh, always be creating. Yeah. Always be creative or something like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I do know you. you I, I, I know you, you like uh, um, uh, going off the inspiration at that time. Yes, sir. And whenever you get, a, you get, whenever you get the bug, you go with it. Yeah, my, neither of my pens are working. They're not working. Is your no. uh, is your um, battery dead? I don't know. Well, Ooh. both pins on the uh, Huron and on my uh, on the Surface pin. That's not working either. You may need to like restart your um, the drawing device. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So or just restart disconnect the Surface. Q1, or disconnect the Q1 and then connect it back on and see if that resets the pin on the Huron. Okay. If it doesn't, then you're gonna have to just restart the surface. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Cause you can, you can. If touch works. Yeah, the touch works. Uh -huh. I'm drawing with the pen now. And I disconnected the hue. And you have a blue color, and you have the pencil, and you have. Uh, yep. Check your layers. What layer are you on? Are you on the proper layer? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oops. Bam. Click on the layers That's and see. It. This is a sketchable Ooh. moment. Yeah, you're on the wrong layer. Oh. Here. Black outline. Yay! Uh, so click good on, on, click on the it. other on the, right, on the layer fine. you want to draw on. Yeah. Layer four. That works. Yes, I was about to cry. Okay, Here we go. There you go. Oh, is it drawing? Layer four. See. There it is. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look, I was about <laughs> to be upset. Uh uh uh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh wee. Yeah, that's a common mistake. Yeah, look at right? all that mess going on right there. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh snap. <laughs> I can, like, okay, that's no that's way. a clean up. I can do that. That's no problem. <laughs> I'll clean it up later. Uh, all right. Ooh, all right. Goodness. All right. What's up, Tamika Groom? She <laughs> says, "Hey hey, hey hey hey." We got a, uh, another live streamer right there, Tamika, the artist. Check out the live streams for Tamika. And there she's listed on the description of this video. As a matter of fact, I do have a diary listed in the description of the video. It says the streaming takeover series, digital art with sketchable app and Adobe Fresco. Us three artists right there, we draw with uh, both those apps. Those are our main go-to apps because that's what we like. We like it. All right, so crisis averted, old diary. Yeah. He's okay. He's okay. Whew. He's about to throw away his computer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's about to be like, yeah, this thing does not work anymore. I give up. I don't want to mm -hmm. draw no more. Mm -hmm. It's done. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, one thing happened. that I'm doing right now is doing cleanup on my shadow layer. So I'm using a shadow layer. Uh, here on uh, on sketchy, and so uh, so I'm cleaning up some elements in the shadow layer because what I'm gonna do next is uh, make a copy of this shadow layer, and uh, boom, boom, bam, and uh, duplicate it. So I'm gonna duplicate the layer and uh, add more details. So this is my creative process. Ozari for that character. He's still working on the uh, sketch on the rough, rough sketch. That's the rough, rough sketch, man. Roof, yes, roof. sir. Oh. The rough, <laughs> rough, rough, Yes. And uh, I suggest if you have a uh, a surface, check out Sketchable. It's a real easy to draw app it's very simple and clean it's uh, no thrills no frills so don't look for masking or you know any um fancy schmancy stuff this is straight up for the artist who's gonna sit there and uh do things manually and uh and it works out pretty good yeah draw sit there and draw 
Make it happen, Captain. Bam. Yeah. So I am going through some of my pieces. Uh, some of my details here. And so this is, uh, speaking of Tamika, this is, uh, I'm still, I st on Monday I started this drawing. And uh, it's based on a figure drawing pose from Tamika's figure drawing sketch uh, class on Thursdays. So I'm pretty sure there's one tomorrow. And, uh, and so that's where we get our poses from. I like, I like taking her class just for fun and then uh, finding some cool poses that later on I just go ahead and, uh, and reuse. I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and go with that. Let's take that pose and do something with it. Yeah, I love to make a show because that, man, mm -hmm. that's, you talking about challenges. Oh, boy. You, you think you the man until you get you start drawing stuff like oh god <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> no, it's dope. I love doing it. It's uh, it, it keeps you on your toes for real. You're so crazy. What's <laughs> up, Johnny? Joining us on uh, on uh, YouTube. What's up, Johnny? We gotta get you on this show, man. I, I want to feature you in one of these uh, streams because Johnny is a live streamer on uh, Facebook. And uh, he streams with Sketchable also, which is crazy because he goes on at, on oh. on Mondays at nine. He starts at nine, and so when I'm finishing up, he is getting going. Yes, that will rock. Yes, Johnny, uh, you need to join my Discord, and then I can bring your video in from your screen to the stream from the Discord. Right, direct. That's how I'm bringing in Odari's. Odari's screen is on the top left. I am on the bottom right, and uh, and so uh, we have brought in. We've had as many as four artists at one time in this stream. <laughs> We're yes. crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and time. just and Odari was saying uh, uh, that uh, if you think that you can draw. We're going back to what Adara said earlier. If you think you can draw, Tamika's uh, figure drawing classes will challenge that. We're like, oh, really? Cool. You say you can draw? Okay, okay. All right, so, okay. Johnny, yes, you, uh, I, I will help you with that. No problem. Um, uh, let's talk. Anytime you're ready to sit down and talk, let me know, and we'll set that up. No advance um, preparation needed just turn on your computer and uh log in and i will we'll talk about that when you're ready for it bam yes and so uh crazy <laughs> yes it has been crazy <laughs> uh but uh johnny he draws cars so whenever oh, we wow. get johnny here um it's gonna be about drawing cars and hot rods oh wow yeah, yeah, yeah. that dude gets down he gets down. So uh so so you can pause your figure drawing sessions. <laughs> well, I'll do for a that one time. To do, oh Transformers. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My Johnny's... favorite transformer is Pratt and he's a Corvette. I would oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, Johnny, we need to tell you day job. You got other stuff to do, man. Come on, we need your drawing out here with us. That's what we need. Johnny on behance? Johnny is on um on uh Facebook and if you check some of the sketchable posts, there'll be links to okay. his uh streams. Okay. Uh, on, on Sketchable's uh Facebook page. Cool. I, I yeah, gotta yeah, check yeah. him out. He's joining us right now from YouTube. He is in YouTube checking out the stream. Bam, bam. So I'm still cleaning up a little bit on this uh, shadows. Shadows. And I am going to. Uh, let's see who was that. I heard somebody. Somebody's Rubio. talking. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, Rubio. What's up, Rubio? If you say something, the whole internet is going to hear you. Uh, and so if you're okay with that, it's all good. We got folks. Yep in the discord right now that's what the discord is for so we can get into a conversation about art drawing and uh living that life of an artist it's very 
very important that you get to hang out with other artists. So there it is. So I did a lot of detail with my shadows. And uh, and just to, uh, there you go, bang, let's go like that. Just to give it a little extra uh, flavor. So, so as I have my character and uh, I got my layer for the line work, that's the line work, a layer for the shadows, you see that? And you'll notice that the shadow layer is on normal. Let's go with multiply. And we turn down the opacity. You see how low the opacity is? There's very dramatic. And uh, and then there's uh, nice and easy. Take it easy, man. So now we're going to go ahead and duplicate that layer. So now it got darker, right? Look. Off, on, off, on. So now that I have a same, a copy, a same, um, another copy of that le shadow layer, I can go in and erase a little bit more. And so that is going to give me a lot of extra um, shadow play. There you Ooh. go. Boom. Bam. I don't know what the word is. I'm sure there's a like a cool word for it. I just said shadow play. Hey, and you sounds see, yeah. good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so there it is. Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's, so it gives you like these two different type of shadows based on the same original shadow shadow so robert says uh depth it gives us depth that's right johnny it gives us depth and uh and there was another word uh um values you get to play with your values to get the depth not johnny depth but depth there it is that's right all right, so Robert says, I would like to join, but my surface developed the <gasps> screen shaking issues and it gets really hot to the touch. Oh, man, that's it. It's time to throw that away, man. Yeah, here on. Get a, <laughs> but you need a device to draw with first. Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. Dang, closer. Robert, what did you do to it? Yeah, I got a got surface. To it. You gotta love it. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta take care of your device. Uh, I have a, uh, I have a four, and uh, it still works. Boom! Makes your line work pop, says Johnny. That's right. It does make your line work pop. Uh, when you have that, that uh, those values and depth, the shadow depth. Boom! There we go. See, so look at that arm. It's popping. It's on and popping. You know, when you're working with vector, one thing that makes the artwork pop is uh, gradients. Gradients. And uh, I was telling Odari that in two weeks, I'm going to be in the, doing a uh, two streams with uh, Behance Live, folks. So look for that process with uh, uh, the gradients with the Adobe Illustrator. And starting with um, with starting with uh, vector brushes and Adobe Fresco, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm pretty excited about that. I was ju uh, I just had a meeting on it today. Everything's confirmed. I made the cut. <laughs> sweet, it'll, sweet. Yeah, it'll be my second time uh, being yeah. part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First time you was with Val, right? Yep. First time was with Val. She's on right now. Anybody who's on uh, on Behance is is either watching us, hanging out with us right now, or hanging out with Val. Bam. Okay, so yeah. little by little, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of this. Just go like that. Huh. Bam. So then the front leg has, um less shadow but the back leg hat back leg has more and i'm just gonna clean up a little bit there bam bam boom all right lay down the black ink uh-huh so let's see what odari is doing right now it's already it's, okay so that's the detail layer yeah and so how many layers do you think you go through before you even get to the inking stage well on the blue sketch, it's just one layer. And then the, uh, when I use the uh, 
the outline is just one layer with the black. I just I go for it straight because this this is my reference, the blue, mm -hmm. and I just whatever needs to be done or fixed or whatever I do it all in the black. So I'm not even I'm not even thinking about color until I get the whole crew. So I'll do sketch at a time, and I should have been working on this between the first and now, but I was doing so much other stuff, but. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get on it, so maybe, maybe next time on the first, I'll have something to show. But I want to share <laughs> this one with y'all. Okay. I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to get right on it. So I was like, yeah, I'm. Just, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. You've been drawing a lot of scullies. Yes, you've been I doing. Have. You are crazy, <laughs> and you were just well, asking me about other, other scully drawings, uh, like um. Uh, yep. Thundercats. Yep, I'm working on that now. I'm doing Lionel and I'm doing my... <laughs> and and I'm, I'm doing Emperor Palpatine. Uh, yeah. So oh, really? You're doing Palpatine? I'm doing Palpatine. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't stop, man. It's like you said, it's addictive. And I got yes. a list. And I'm just like, oh my God, am I really going to finish all this stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I can't. No. You'll never, you'll never be a uh, uh, bored. You'll never <laughs> have bored. It'd be bored. I know. Mm -hmm. It's too much fun. It's way too much fun. It's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I can do this one. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just did um, Ken from Battle of the Planets, aka Gotcha. And everybody's yeah. like, oh, that's G Force. That's G Force. I'm like, that's right. Yeah, they work. They call this G Force. So. Mm -hmm. Which was cool because Casey Kasem does the voice for Ken back in the seventies, yes. and I was like, "I love this character." Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. It's people can remember it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Cool. You went deep into that memory bank for it. Man, I watch every. <laughs> yeah, I'm a. It's a crazy. I'm a sci-fi nerd for real, for real, for real, for real. <laughs> for real. No joke. No joke. I challenge anybody. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I thought about doing a a character from Battlestar Galactica, not the new one, the old 1970s one, when they wear the uh, Egyptian helmets when they're in their spaceships. Mm, I don't remember that. Totally. Don't. Oh man, if you, if you look it up on YouTube for like, just look at their helmets. They wear uh -huh. Egyptian style pharaoh helmets in their spaceships, and I'm like, yeah, that's coming. Oh wow! Really? I need to check that out. I need to check that yeah. out. Uh, yeah. Uh. The uh. Johnny said the real one. That's the real one. Um. That's the real one. And then he said top blue drawing looking nice. Oh, he likes your, he likes your drawing, man. All right. I appreciate it. just the sketch, man. Now I gotta do the hard part. <laughs> you gotta do the hard part. The hard part. You gotta open uh, open your eyes and and see if it's working. The force. The is outline. Working. Yes, sir. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at my uh, my iPad, and for reference of the character I drew, because I I can't remember all his equipment, so I, I'm using that as a reference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to have your um, your character um, uh, style sheets. What are they called? Character reference sheets. I forget the name. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man. yeah. Come on, get it together, yo. Get it together. Bam. Yes, there it is. So there you go. So I just picked some orange, rant, orange, pink color for some of the details, and I like it. I think that's okay. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. So I got one layer for colors, and so my colors are. I'm gonna. I'm drawing them on a layer under the shadow layer, so that the shadow layers plays. It plays into the color and so that's why my shadow layers are set to multiply gotta have your blend modes you gotta you gotta uh use your blend modes to your advantage mm -mm -mm -mm. bam and so there it goes bam i like this um reddish color and uh it's coming okay i think that's it's okay it's all good yeah, I don't. I, I, like I don't plan my that. colors. I just do it. Really? See, yeah. See how it comes out. Let's see if it works. 
Oh wow. If it works, it works. If it don't, I'll change the color. I got a plan on the colors. Well, well, you're right. A lot of times. Well, if you have like a character, then uh, that's uh, that already set, and those, you know, uh, what they wear is already um, been set either in comics or whatever. Then you just roll with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Boom, boom, boom. So there it is. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm going to hop around some colors. And I think I'll be able to, to knock most of this uh, drawing tonight. We have another 30 minutes left in today's stream. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's, like, it's lacking. Because the other one, you don't <laughs> even have color on the other one either. Right now, you're just nope. doing all. It's, uh, so that's your inking layer. That's it. Is that what you're going with? Yeah, right I'm now? doing the uh, the outline. I'm not gonna color anything until I get all the characters on. Uh huh. Okay. Because there'll be some colors that that they similarly use, and I was like, well, yeah, again, I gotta. I don't want to be looking for the layer all the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna do the outline first. Everything, my black and white, you know, classic comic book stuff, and then I'll put the colors. On. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times, right. black and white to me looks better than stuff that's colored. Uh-huh. On comic book level, it's just like, wow, that black and white is really nice. And Jim Lee does a lot of that black and white stuff. Mm. Uh huh. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love his work. Uh huh. Uh, Frank Miller done that too. And like, yeah. Sometimes you color yeah. Frank Miller's work, and that's cool, but that black and white is already popping. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. You see mm-hmm. more detail in the, in the sketches. Well, mm-hmm. not, not even sketches. Just, you know, the black line work. He's like, oh, yep. that's dope. Mm-hmm. I'm a there fan. Man. Bam. So there it is. It's coming along. We got it. We got it. Um, I'm kind of just uh, adding colors wherever I feel like. And I'm trying to think of what's the next color. I think I'm going to go with the yellow. And uh, put like a lemon yellow. Uh, and, and see how that works, you know. All, all you color people out there, enjoy uh, f- uh, understanding your colors. Me, I just, I just like, yeah, let's go with another color. Let's throw it in there. Oh, there's a yellow, a green yellow right there. Hmm. But uh, let's see. Let's make it more greenish. There it is. Let's see how that works. Let's see how that works. And uh, and let's put it right there. Yeah, it doesn't look so cool. But I'm going to keep coloring anyway because I can always change the color. That's another good thing about Sketchable is that you can uh, quickly change colors by turning on the um, lock index transparency. There it is. There's a little lock right there. Click on it and then find the the color you do want. So let's see if I can uh, find the color I want. Let's see. Green was too green. There goes the yellow. Let's go with yellow. It's kind of it's kind of bright, but let's see. There it is. It's in my brush. I make my brush pretty big, and look now. Okay, okay. So that's kind of kind of yellowish. Try a tan tone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try tans. Boom and see. Look at that. Uh huh. So it's kind of brownish. Let me try to turn it up. There we go. Boom. It's a little muted. I'm I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. And if you have other suggestions, throw it my way because we can always change this out. So it's uh I'm okay trying different ideas, uh different color combinations until I hit on one that that works for me. Bam, lighter. Okay, I could go lighter. So then you're really not gonna see much of a a brown. All right, let's Ooh, go. That didn't work. Uh oh. <laughs> what was that? Whoop. I thought the lights went out on your on your tablet. What's going on? Oh man, I did the bucket. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Not in fresco. Not in fresco. You what didn't close your um your yeah, something's uh, shape. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. So let's try a different oh. color, a lighter color. Go lighter. Let's see if we can go right there. Boom, bring that, make that bigger. Uh, bam, there it is. I don't want him to look naked either, Johnny. The, the tone with a little orange, there it is. Uh-huh, all right, let's see. Let's try that, uh-huh. 
Yeah, it does. It does look like it pops a little bit more, and it's a nice clean contrast between that red orange and this uh this tan. I like that. <laughs> She's laughing. She's like, I don't want him naked. All right, boom. There we go. Nice. So let's keep it rolling, and uh, continue this color coloring here. And sometimes I do hop around between colors just because I think of different ideas as uh, as they pop into my head. I don't want to wait because sometimes an idea will pop in your head and you're like, oh, that's great. I'm going to do that when I get to this point. And then later yep. when you get to that point, you forgot. Like, I don't even know. Yep. Oh, you, for you forgot you even had had a had an idea and you draw yep. something totally different. And then later, much later, you're like, oh, wait a minute. I could have done such and such because that's yep. what I wanted to do anyways. So don't wait on the idea. Don't put it to the side. Don't ignore it. Uh, handle it. Handle it right away. Handle it. Great it's, later. Yeah, it's very necessary. Very necessary. And so that's why I hop around. Like, I'm going to hop around. See you later, Johnny. Thank you. Got to get back to the day job. No worries. Thanks for stopping through. Let me know when you want to talk. I'm on your time. That's uh, that that dude got skills. So yeah. yeah, I wanna I wanna hang out with him a little bit. All right, so there's uh that pink still. Let's did I change layers? Yes, I did. Let's go back to that. Boom. Here we go. And uh, keep it rolling. They see me rolling. They hate. All right. All right, so far, yeah, eyeball rolling up. Yeah, that's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Does it have a big eyeball or a little eyeball? One little one and one big one. Yeah, that's what oh, looks. It, it looks weird. <laughs> 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 I was like, "How to get that eyeball in there?" Uh -huh. yeah, that work. There it is. That works. So why did you pick these animals specifically for your uh, stories? Well, it's because of what they do in real life. Now, this character is a beaver. Mm -hmm. So I made him the engineer of the spaceship because beavers build. Oh. I mean, he's, he's kind of like, he's Mr. Scott. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's my version of Mr. Scott on my thing. And Scotty. Scotty is the one that he built. He solves the problems. And the captain say, I need warp speed or you need to fix this. All right, I got you. I need miracle worker. So mm -hmm. he's my miracle worker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just but like beavers in real life, they make dams and they. And they're a, a, a good thing for the um, ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It's like the things that they do, they don't build dams just because it's like. All that stuff works for, for the ecosystem. It works for the earth. It's animals uh -huh. play a big part in how we live, and we don't know that. You know, mm -hmm. so. And okay. I did find a new bad guy that I really, I kind of, I, I can't even keep it under wraps. I, the Egyptian um, uh, gator god, he's the he's the main character. I got the gorilla as the uh the front man is the bad guy, but the bad guy sitting in the background is a gorilla. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Not a gorilla god, but he's the uh, the ancient Egyptian gator god. I'm going to eat. He eats him. the heart. He eats the heart. Yeah. yeah he's if, you, if your heart is too heavy, he'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got to go yeah, back. He, you gotta, uh -huh. Yeah. But he's not a bad not, evil guy. He's not evil. No, he's not evil. He's, he's really not. Nice. But I was like, he'd be perfect for the protagonist in my story. I was like, because mm -hmm. it's a gator. And mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, the gorilla idea is cool. He's my Darth Vader. He's he's right. going to be, you know, he's the first guy. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, we're going to take over the, the universe and whatnot. But then he's like, he's going to fail so many times. The gator going to come up and say, okay, I got to step in. Once I'm done right, do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So... I'm gonna change his name because the Egyptian version, he is a good guy. He's not yeah. not a bad guy. Right. So but I, I saw that and I got that idea about like, ooh, make the gator guy the, the real bad guy, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right then. 
So, I, so I like that idea, though, that, like you said, you're using certain animals for for how um, uh, as a character because they have actually in real life, they have some, they have something they provide something to the ecosystem. Yes. So that's yes. great. That's a great idea. I like that. Big ups to uh, Golden Roast. What's up? What's up? Uh, Keep you can it stop golden. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop by any time. We're just having a good time here. Relaxing. Drawing. Boom. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyone who wants to join us on the Discord, feel free. We are going to be live for uh, 20 more minutes. And then we're taking a short break where I will come back at 8 o'clock to stream with Fresco. And I will be drawing another Scully. And uh, we can hop on the NFT conversation if you have some questions. If there's something that you want to talk about related to NFTs. And uh, so that's at 8 p.m. today. Today. Tonight. And then tomorrow, Tamika goes live. And then on um, uh, Friday, Odari will be live. So Mid 8 p.m. Day, the time will change, people. Yeah, it's going to change. It's going to change the time. So make sure you follow Odari for those details. Bam. And so world of vectors, hashtag world of vectors, 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right. So there it goes. I added some yellow. I think I like the little yellow highlights. Bam. Boom. I like it. So that's a cool story, Adari. I look forward to you finding the time to finish. <laughs> yeah, um, the story is all in my head. Um, I got so many projects I want to do, and mm -hmm. and all in due time it will, they will be done. Um, even my graphic novel that I've already written, um, I'm trying to do the origin story of that, and just get it out, and be done with it, and then. Mm -hmm. Later, do the finished product. That's gonna take forever. I'm doing yeah. it by myself. But then Chase Jupiter, uh, me and D got something going on with Chase Jupiter. So, and you she's and actually D. She's the inspiration for Jace, and she oh, made okay. me. Do, she made me do. Because <laughs> okay. I wasn't trying to do anything with that rabbit. She's it's her fault. I'm doing all this stuff. Okay. So I'm like, okay, uh -huh. let's do it. <laughs> What's up, Gareth? How you doing? Welcome to the stream tonight. Gareth in the house, what up? Here, sitting here drawing and sketching. And uh, I am coloring in my character. Getting some colors in. Boom, boom, boom. Odari is working on his character. And uh, art that we're... we Our personal art for ourselves, but also... Uh, drawings that we're going to put into the Black Book project. So the Black Book project is still alive and kicking. I have to upload a couple more um, or post a couple more pages. If you're anybody's interested in drawing a page for the Black Book project, let me know. There is a link in the description. Mm -hmm. No worries, uh, Golden Rose. You can procrastinate. Yes, it's all right. Sometimes you just want to relax. Like tomorrow, I don't have to get up early. So I am not going to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. And, uh, but today, uh, yesterday, there are some days where it's like nonstop. Non-stop. As a matter of fact, uh, I've been getting up early, going to bed late, trying to finish some projects. And so tomorrow I get to relax. Yay, yay. All right, it's going to time for some brown. How are the two coolest streamers out there tonight? What's up, Rob? How you doing? Uh, Gary up? says, I'm getting Aura Overload, watch three streams, and SpaceX launch. Oh, wow. Is the wow. SpaceX launch happening? Oh, my mic is low. Says, is it really? Uh, Golden uh, Rose. Thank you, Golden Rose, for letting me know. I'm going to bump it up. And so it's uh, dangerously in the yellow, but let me know what it sounds like. Let me double check something now and see. Yeah, it sounds. 
I, I like it. Okay, thank you for letting me know. This is better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, see, people people should tell me when my microphone is low because uh, 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 was it last week when my microphone was was off? And I got two messages after the stream was over. Like, yeah, but what am I going to do about it now? You got to tell hey, me when wait. it's happening. <laughs> oh, by the way, you suck. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Sound. Thank you, Rob. Appreciate that. Yes, yes. And, you know, it's uh, it's important to have the right headphones so you can hear the audio because um, it's uh, it's it's uh. Those, it's just little details that you can miss with uh, with the wrong headphones. I was uh, working with um, AirPods, and uh, one of my uh, other video production for corporate, and uh, there was something weird, something weird kept coming through the audio, and I was like, what is wrong with my computer? And come to find out it was the AirPods. So, so yeah. The, there was nothing wrong with the audio. It was the AirPods. So now, like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta try different headphones to monitor the audio to make sure that I am getting the right levels. Bam! But it helps to to have folks tell me about it. Boom. Mm. Yeah, I'm almost done with the coloring here. I think I'm gonna be done with this character, and I can post it. Post it tonight. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, 20 minutes left, so we're good. We're good. Let me see. And this is, the, I don't know, the colors just went all crazy, and I'm okay with that because in Illustrator, I can add some gradients, and I can still do some gradients now. And I could actually do the gradients now. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think about it. All right, let me finish uh, the coloring. Let's go. Got to do the, the brown. This is the tan brown. Boom, boom, boom. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Good night, Olden Rose. You know we're going to be uh, live at 8 o'clock also, so if you want to come and hang out later, uh, you can. When I say we, I mean me. It'll be me with Adobe Fresco. So if anybody wants to draw with Adobe Fresco and join us, you can join the Discord. Hang out. Bring your iPad. Bring your Surface. Whatever you draw, you used to draw with Adobe Fresco. You can join me when I'm streaming and we can talk about art, the business of art, and uh, Scully's, NFTs, whatever. Let's talk about it. Talk about things that are important for artists. Yes, yes, yes. Bam. I haven't even looked up to see what you're drawing. All right. Doing the outlines. Mm-hmm. So you're using one line weight to, to do all the lines everywhere. Yep. And then you're gonna come in with a different uh, line weight uh, for the thick outline. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, like the black outline right now, that's that's the foundation right there. Where the blue got me started, but the the black outline I'm doing now, that's what I'm working with. So, mm -hmm. I'm using one one size right now. But when I want to thicken certain, you know, when you do the outline, everything's thicker, blah, blah, blah. That's just my style. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it's a process. For me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Right. But, you know, but so, so right now you're not concerned with the thick outline because you're doing everything the same thickness right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah. 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 That's what I was getting to. Uh, Rob's question is, is this vector? No, Rob, this is uh, Adobe Fresco. I mean, Adobe Fresco. This is sketchable. And uh, I'm just using the paintbrush. I'm using the paintbrush tool right there. There's the paintbrush tool. And that is my brush. It's just got a clean look. It really has a nice clean look and I like it. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm just kind of using that to the brushed for my line work for the shadows and uh and right now for the colors and so it's really clean and uh, and um, i like it and you can set your your brush um settings to be clean and sharp you know as sharp as a pixel uh raster brush can be but it's still sharp and clean so you can get that that clean look 
And so I'm not too happy about this. Let's go right here. Yeah, I'm Let's using see. a pencil brush. And you're using the pencil brush? Look at that. I'm you're right. Wow. I thought it was uh, ink, the ink uh, brush or something. Oh, I tried. I wanted to do something different. Uh-huh. Pencil. And I like I like that. It's pretty cool. There you go. Right, uh, that's cool, man. That's super cool. Right now, I'm coloring in, recoloring my browns. There it is. Make it dark brown. Bam. Just like that. It's just like that. And as a matter of fact, it does paint very clean. Love the color choices in this one. The bright yellow jumps. Yes, that's what I like. I like contrast. And, uh, and I, I like to see the brightness really pop in. And so now this is uh, the darker brown. So I'm going in with the darker brown to some of these areas and fill it in. And uh, but stay tuned, uh, Rob, for fresco at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. fresco. Today is the 15th. So on the 15th, we draw with first and 15th. We draw with Sketchable and every Monday. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody talking to you, Odari? Nope. No? Okay. I thought I heard somebody's voice. That was me singing. Oh, you were singing? <laughs> it's the first of the month. Get, that's right. Get up. Get up. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Damn. So I'm just kind of throwing color wherever I can. I know I got to do those pencils in the backpack. And uh, I'll get to those in a minute. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. all right, let's make that all brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm Good. Mm -hmm. Finish laying on tonight. I need to press so I'll Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, did you do pass throw? I haven't done any of this that that what you're talking about. No, I thought you did pass throw. I was no. going down. Don't let me do all the thundercats. Go ahead, bro. You do do you do what you like. Do what you like, like a like a oh, no. digital underground. Digital underground. Do what you like. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. I, all the stuff I'm thinking you already did. I'm like, damn, do that already. Mm -mm. So my brother was like, you can do the fun. I said, damn. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you can do anything you want, bro. Whatever you like. Do Laverne and Shirley. I'm like, oh. Do Lenny and Squiggy. I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I dream of Genie. Mm -hmm. oh. I was like, stop, man. I got too much to <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Good ideas, though. Yeah, they're all good ideas, just not enough time to do them all. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rob says, to answer the question, yes, we do have a streamer question. What do you like to draw and why? And so Rob says, uh, I, my favorite thing to draw is cars. I finally got some of mine on my banner on Behance. Oh, we're going to have to check that out. Everybody go check out yeah. that banner on yes, rob's yes. profile so let me go ahead and uh open link and new tab boom there it is oh look at that that is awesome rob what i thought he was gonna have some cartoon looking cars no oh rob gets down get some gangster going on oh snap and uh, uh and i like that uh, our style is what is this a photoshop it looks like you used a filter, but it looks like you drew these. This these two people sitting standing there. I don't know who these people are. Rick and Marty for the win. There it is. So there's two images. They're very similar. I don't see many differences, yeah, but it's cool. That's Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. The description right there. Watch the live stream with the very talented fresh cake. Fresh cake. Yep. And discussion moves somehow into favorite shows. Curse of Oak Island. I started to do a digital drawing using this image as reference, but quickly changed direction and use Photoshop to manipulate the image to come up with a caricature of the two main characters. This was a quick and dirty, but still managed to capture the individual personality, simplification, 
and pinch filters followed with that oil paint filter. Oh, like it. I'm glad you explained it. It'd be nice if you could throw in the reference photos uh, and some screenshots of your process, Rob. That's cool. But I, and I do like that banner. You need to make that a, a project in itself. Looking at those cars, that's super cool. Super cool. All right, so we have an answer from uh, Gareth. Gareth is saying, what do, I, uh, what do I like to draw? Fan art or anything that takes my fancy. <laughs> well, of course, of course, whatever takes your fancy. I mean, that's, that's, that's natural, right? Like whatever you feel like drawing, you should draw it. Draw that now. And uh, uh, great answer. I like that because that's how I do it. And, you know, Odari too, like he's got a lot of artwork that he needs to do. And, um, but it feels like uh, drawing Scully's. And so, and, and you heard him a second ago, like he, he really go ready to go off on some Scully artwork real soon. Mom, the artist joining us on Facebook. Sorry, Odari. I had to interrupt. Uh, Sorry, Mom, Odari. That rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Odari. Uh, Mom, the artist says, love the character drawing, guys. That's right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, there it is. I colored in my drawing. My color, my drawing is colored in. I think the next step is going to be some gradients. And I'm going to wait for that for the next drawing. Let's see what Odari is doing. He's got, he's got a leg and a half. Yeah. To, to finish. Yeah. Rob says, uh, my why uh, is I love automotive stuff. My why is I love automotive stuff. Thanks for the appreciation. The feedback is much appreciated. I was just trying to figure out the project system on behance. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you're welcome on the feedback. Yes, this is if, if you ask for feedback, uh, you're gonna get it. If you don't ask for feedback, you're gonna get it anyway. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. so thanks for sharing, uh, Rob. But check out some of the like, even um, uh, Fresh Cake. You say you mentioned Fresh Cake, check out other artists' um, pro, um, projects and see how they structure information. Some projects are for fun. Some projects are for client work uh, or to show off your skills. And so the way they structure the project will depend on who you're talking to and why. And so yeah. I put in a lot of info on mine just so that uh, I can share what I know, but also um, get, poten get potential clients. So if they're interested in my work, they get to see like some of the process and why. I am who I am. Who are you? Who are you, man? I was crazy. I had my Behance. Let me see how long ago I had my Behance page. I had my Behance page. I think this is 2012. Let me look. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, member since July 12, uh, 2010. Oh wow. July. My son wasn't even born. Wow, 2010. So, but I did not start organizing my Behance profile uh, till around 2015, 2016, because I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> I knew it was something, <laughs> and and it was not Adobe yet. I think I, I forget when um, Adobe bought Behance, but um, but uh, yeah, it's uh. It was uh, it was just another portfolio website like a uh, deviant art. Anybody have uh, um, a, a, a Behance? So oh, what yeah. was Behance before Adobe bought it? Uh, Behance was just a, a, a Behance, a social media platform to showcase and discover creative work. But let me see. It started. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Behance was founded by Matias Correa and Scott Belsky. Scott Belsky is the head um, of the of the, the uh, Fresco department. I want to say Fresco. Uh, check out Scott Belsky on Twitter. Uh, and they started it. Behance was started in two thousand and five, 
So oh, wow. uh, um, in May 2012, their first round of outside funding received $6.5 million from investors, and uh, including Jeff Bezos. And then at the end of 2012, the company was acquired by Adobe Systems for $150 million. Wow. Wow. So there you go. Yeah, so... <laughs> So I've had my hands for a long time, and uh, and I never even uh, I didn't know what to do with it until one time I was uh, at a conference somewhere, and I was talking to somebody, and I gave them my card. This is back when I used to give out cards. I don't give out business cards anymore. I do stickers. And so I handed it to somebody, and I was t- we were talking, and he says, uh, uh, "Do you have a Behance?" And uh, my first instinct was like to say, nah, because it's ugly. So so I just said, yeah, I got a Behance. He's like, okay, I'm going to check you out. So that night, I, I started working on my Behance. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the need arose. Uh, Garrett says, I've only started posting stuff this year. Uh, it's been a member since 2014. Crazy, right? Ooh. But that's how it works. You know, you you... You kind of just go ahead and jump in and then figure it out later. I just didn't figured know about out. it till last year. Mm. Like, literally, didn't know nothing about it. I was like, what's this? And you put me up on it. I was like, how can you tell me about this? Like, mm-hmm. What is this? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'm mm-hmm. all over the place. It's madness. Yeah. And so, uh, oh, uh, this is uh, Judge Thread. Artwork looks good. The mall, Darth Mall artwork is amazing. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! I'm looking at uh, at uh, Gareth Williams artwork. Dang! Apple MacBook Pro and Wacom One Pen display. Oh, you got a Wacom One? Hmm, interesting. Hmm. All right, you got a couple of minutes left, man. Are you gonna make it? Let's see. No, I'm not gonna make it. And just have the outline, that, yeah. just for the outline. Oh man, that's it. He's... Yeah, I'm just here for the outline. You're like I said, I'm not outline. gonna, I'm not gonna call it anything until I get all the crew on here, all the characters. Mm-hmm. Because I, I gotta do the skeleton. Without the skeleton, you don't have nothing. Right. You can't yep. walk. You can't do nothing. Yep. So far, so good, though. Well, very cool. If you want to check out how it ends today for this uh, session, join us in the Discord. We'll be in the Discord for a little bit. Then I'm going live at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Eastern with Adobe Fresco on the iPad Pro. Um, yes, um, Mom, the artist, there is a problem with um, big hands. For some reason, yes, it does. Uh, it has been saying that for some people. I can see it. Um, but, uh, tell me where you're, uh, watching the stream and want to leave a comment on mom. The artist is leaving comments on Facebook. Let me uh-huh. see. Boom, 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 boom. All uh, right. All right. Let me, uh, yep. I'm checking. I'm checking. Yeah, we got, uh, we have, uh, the, the chat is open on 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 mobile i can see it anybody everybody please leave a thumbs up a um appreciation for today's uh, drawing session with sketchable and odari art that is his art on the top left as he is drawing his character um something bob the builder what is his name ah, his name is is why is willie wow. Will- Willy Wally? I gave him some name like that. <laughs> <laughs> Willy Wally. Beaver. He's a, yeah, it's one beaver. of those kind of names. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm using a reference. I can't remember what I did with this guy. Dang. All right. Oh, well, check yeah. out. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. All right. So uh, check out Odari Art on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, Odari Art. I am Delta Tango Mike, and today we've been drawing with Sketchable. Um, uh, give a shout out to everybody who left a comment tonight. John Jalopi, 
Miss uh, Mom, the artist, Robert, uh, you, everybody who leaves a comment, I'm going to give them a shout out. Gareth, Rob, uh, Golden Rose, thank you, Tamika, the artist, Richard Lindley, and Jordan Jones. Thank you for stopping by today. Thank you to everyone else who dropped a thumbs up. Check out my live stream in one hour. I'm going live again. That one is going to be with Adobe Fresco. So go ahead and uh, come on in for that. Any last words, Odari? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> done, son. Turn yes, off sir. the uh, the, uh, the, 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 the blue. The, the blue uh, yes. Boom. There he is. Boom. I got Get that outlined. Got Very it. Nice. Super nice. And it looks like you need to restart your uh, surface anyway. Yes. yes. It has an update. It has an update ready. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right, y'all. So thank you very much. Yes, Mom, the artist. Come on through at 8 o'clock. You can share your screen on Discord, and uh, and we can talk about Fresco all day, all night. Uh, I will see you soon. I think I need to make me a cup of coffee, and then I'll be ready to go. Remember, new time, Friday. I won't be streaming at 7. I'll be streaming earlier, midday, uh, Eastern Standard Time, probably like 11 o'clock a.m. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. All right. Cool. So talk to you later. DTM and Odari Art out. Peace. Peace.